Hello guys, if you're anything like me, you want to automate more of your e-commerce or marketing businesses, you try to outsource whatever you can, but you prefer automating whatever is possible. I recently found an amazing tool that is called TextAU or TextAU, I'm not really sure how we call it, but it's uh, very powerful and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, it allows you to automate Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Reddit, Quora, a lot of different platforms and it basically works amazing and unlike other uh, bots that are very specific, this tool offers uh, solutions to the majority of the platforms. It keeps on evolving and the fact that I like about this tool as well is it stays compliant. It stays compliant with the, um, the network's um, rules. So in the past when I tried to use other tools for example, Instagram automation. So very often my account was blocked. Um, since I've been using TextAU, uh, I've been using it for already three or four months now. Uh, I wasn't blocked even once. Obviously it takes more patience because you need to, to adhere to the different platforms uh, rules, but uh, it is very powerful and I will show it to you uh, today. So first thing first, um, this, is, this is like the website of Texao um, they are a team from India and um, constantly evolving. They also have an amazing uh, Facebook group in which people share a lot of ideas uh, and a lot of knowledge. Uh, you have the different use cases over here. I'm not going to dive deep into them. I just want to show you the pricing. So there are different two different options. One is a uh, cloud based automations and the other the other option is desktop based automations. I prefer using the desktop based automations because uh, if um, you use the cloud based automations, you also probably have to, to get a, a, some sort of a proxy because um, if the automations are going to run from the cloud, they are going to run from a specific um, server which isn't located in the place that you are located. Uh, so for example, I'm currently in uh, Georgia and if I'm logging in to TextAU using my Facebook account and Facebook will see that uh, I'm running automations that are not from Georgia, they might uh, block my account. So in order to overcome this, I have to also buy a proxy that is located in Georgia. Um, I've used this in the past, but I prefer um, using the desktop version uh, and then it just, I operate it from my uh, web page. I mean, from my desktop and I'm using my IP and then I don't need to worry about um, the, the, the proxy or anything. And this, uh, this program runs in the background so it doesn't disturb your, your, your work. Um, so the pricing for the, this is the pricing for the, the cloud and actually the desktop app is even cheaper. Um, I paid uh, 100 bucks for one year. Uh, which is a steal, it's a bargain. I'm not sure what is the price at the moment. They might have um, increased it. But anyway, I highly suggest that you check it out. And I'm going to share a, an affiliate link in the comment section, uh, which will probably give you a discount. I'm not sure about it, but uh, I think it gives an, an or extended trial or a, a discount. Anyway, so this is about this. Now let's show, let me show you the app itself. So here. Okay, so we covered the cloud and now let's talk about limitations. So one thing about, I like about TextAU is the fact that it tells you the limitations of each platform. You can go here, configure limits. And basically since they are, they, since they are seeing, um, they have a lot of users so they can know exactly what triggers um, the platform. So for example, if I want to take a screenshot of a Facebook page or profile, they suggest doing this only 35, uh, times on a daily basis. If you want to extract LinkedIn uh, conversations links, so you can do this 20 times every day. You can edit the limit, but if you edit the limit and you exceed uh, what, they are, they, what they are suggesting, uh, you are in risk of having your account uh, blocked by the networks. By the way, over here you can see that um, you choose a plan in, and in every plan, you, in every plan, you get a daily execution limit. So I'm using at the moment uh, one hour every day, and it's tot it's way more than enough for me. So these these are the limits. Now let me show you the different options. So over here in Texas, you have spices and you have recipes. Uh, a recipe is a combination of a f of a few spices. And let me show you an example of a spice. So for example, in these are all spices. 
um, that Excel is offering for Facebook. So one option is taking a screenshot of a Facebook page or profile. The other one is extracting friends of a Facebook profile. There is uh, an ability to extract a Facebook page search, search, for example, or add a friend on Facebook, which is very powerful. Um, extracting all the commentators of a Facebook post, etc. Um, so let's say I have an e-commerce store and I want to build um, an organic audience for my page so I can take my own profile and for example um, take all the commentators from a specific post uh, about let's say I'm selling a posture corrector I, I like uh, using this example so let's say someone has posted in a group a post about posture correctors so what I can do is I can extract a list of of all the commentators and then I can start adding them as friends on my Facebook and then whenever I start posting on my profile page about posture correctors these people um, will see my post and they might start a conversation they might comment they might like and obviously you can also start uh, once they approve your friend request you can start speaking with them this is just one method that I'm sharing it's, it's a bit spammy it's, people do use this method uh, today um, but it's ju just an example let me show you how, how this thing works so basically um, you have this interface which is very easy and straightforward so you take uh, the cookies from Facebook uh, you take the C user and the XS and you put the post let me show you just an example of where I get the C user and the XS so I go to Facebook and then they basically they have an explanation on how you can do this but the alternative is just going here you go to application Facebook and then you take the XS you copy it and then you copy the C user and you paste it over here then you put the post URL and you start scraping you extract all the commentators so here's an example of something I already extracted so let's say this one I have a result I have all the names I have the URLs I have the comment um, and I have a lot of data and then I can start sending them friend request or whatever I want so this is this is just an example in Facebook um, now let's go to Instagram so in Instagram it is pretty similar uh, but you also have a few more features that are Instagram specific so for example you can start following a list of people or let's say you take all the people who liked a certain post let's say a post of your competitor which is selling postal correctors you can you can scrape all the people who like this post and start following them and then hope that they will start following you as well so this is also a spammy method which some people are using but you can also start um, start commenting automatically so let's say all the people that um, liked this post about the posture corrector you can start following them and then uh, comment on all of the whenever they post you can uh, ask the text out the software to comment on their post so it has to be something generic so so you can use like a fire or a smiley and then when people obviously when people when they post something and then uh, they see a comment from someone and it's fire or smiley so they might click on your profile and see what you're all about so this is another method i'm not i'm not suggesting that you necessarily use these methods but i'm just sharing uh, a few ideas that people are doing these days um, and if you're low on budget and you want to grow on organically so this might might work in a way um, there is also obviously a linkedin automations uh, which i'm using a lot uh, for b2b stuff you can let's say you can choose you can search for something specific in linkedin let's say search for people that have an e-commerce store in the US and then you can scrape all the profiles and start to send them a friend request so this is just one option or scrape based on people who attended an event in, in LinkedIn or people who are in a in, or in a specific group in, on LinkedIn so it's it's very powerful and there are a lot of uh, different uh, features and spices over here so these are the spices by the way obviously you have twitter i, I don't use twitter so often but you also can retweet stuff automatically retweet stuff automatically follow automatically unfollow you can automatically unfollow people that are not following you etc 
Um, so this is about the spices and you also have the recipes. So the recipes uh, is a combination of spices. So let's say I want to take all the people that um, commented on a Facebook page. Let me show you an example. So it's basically you have, a, you can do, you have all the platforms and all the spices available and you can build a process. So let's say I'm taking all the people who liked an Instagram post, then I can uh, scrape at the list of them and then I can do like a conditional if for example I, I need to show you this never mind I'm not going to go deeper into this and show you the whole example but what you can do is basically like in programming you can do a conditional if and decide if they're if they match your criteria you can go ahead and then maybe look for them in using um, the email options that you have over here, which is, this is something a bit more complicated, which is called email enrichment, in which um, they have a tool that they can look for emails uh, and then you can send them an email. This is just an example, but there are different, multiple different examples which you can, which you can do using the, the recipes. And these are stuff that you build on your own. And they also have uh, public recipes. So public recipes are basically stuff that come like templates that come built in in the platform so let's show you an example so extract google maps listing details with email and phone number and push to a google sheet so it's kind of like zapier in a way you take some data and push it into a google sheet or for example you can send drip messages with follow-ups to linkedin group members so instead of just sending scraping a list of LinkedIn members, you can scrape them and then you can start ripping emails uh, or messages in their inbox uh, using this, this uh, recipe. Um, this one is pretty cool as well. Grow Instagram followers. You, you follow and unfollow people and you also give them likes with delays so it doesn't look um, weird or automated so you can set the delays to like every other day for example um, and there are a lot of different uh, options over here and um, these things works great and um, I, I have used it already uh, for different different um, causes and different uh, goals uh, mainly b2b but also b2c um, obviously you have to be creative when you use this stuff, but it's totally a no brainer on my end, because I think that using consistency and trying to build your store or your page or a following organically makes a lot of sense. But on the other hand, you should also avoid trying to be too, too automated and unpersonalized because people are not stupid. And when they see something that is automated, they tend to shy away from this. So if you do stuff, if you automate stuff, I highly suggest that you automate stuff, but if you do so, you need to make sure that you personalize, personalize this correctly, or at least you build a smart process that doesn't look uh, like it was automated. And you want to build something that people will engage with and re will really move the needle. Um, so if you want, I can share some examples in uh, that are more related to B2B and a few more uh, that are related to B2C in the in next videos. Leave a comment below if you have any questions regarding um, this specific tool. And if you have questions, uh, even if you have ideas of automation that you think that might work, um, that would be awesome. So please uh, leave, um, the, the, leave these ideas in the comment section as well. That's it guys. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Uh, I really appreciate you viewing uh, the video and take care. Bye bye.